thank you for everybody uh, joining us this Sunday. How many of you were here six months ago when I was here? Uh, I hope that I don't say the same thing. I don't think I will. え、ま、え、I'd like to talk to you at first about a ring. This is a ring. Can you see it? まずあの、皆さんにこの結婚指輪をちょっと見ていただきますね。Can you see this ring? This is not my wedding ring. これは私の結婚指輪ではありません。my wedding ring is in Wakayama at the bottom of a river. I lost it, um, I can't remember how long ago. I lost it more than 20 years ago. My kids were extremely concerned when I lost my wedding ring because they thought that that would be our, uh, that'd be the end of our marriage. <laughs> Actually, uh, I'm not the only one that lost my wedding ring. My wife lost her wedding ring too. <laughs> so uh, she doesn't have a wedding ring, you can, but, she, but we're married. And uh, my, my kids were worried, but they didn't have to worry. Uh, uh, so why do I have this, this wedding ring? This is my father's wedding ring. In Japanese, you call it katami. My father died on uh, July 3rd, 2015. I got saved on July 3rd, 1971. So my father, when he died, uh, the three of us got together, and we, he, my parents had very few things to leave us, but this was one of them. Well, my brother and sister, I have an older brother and an older sister, and they, they still had their wedding rings, and I didn't, so I said, well, I'll take Dad's wedding ring. Uh, at the time, we were uh, uh, pastoring a church in Paris, France. And so we flew from France to uh, do my father's funeral. And of the three of us, even though I'm the youngest, my Older siblings said that I should preach at my dad's funeral. And It was a very uh, moving uh, moment for me. My father had more influence on me than anybody else in the world, and maybe that's true of you. Uh, for some people, the, what they experience from their father is not good. But for other people, it's extremely good. Today, I looked at WhatsApp. I have, we have a Dugan Global Family WhatsApp. Minasan, WhatsApp, do you know, it's got the maska? It's got the maska? We have a Dugan Global Family. My, 
I have uh, uncles and aunt who are missionaries in Brazil. I have a cousin who's a missionary in Slovenia. Slovenia niwa senkyoshi aru itokomoimasu. I have a cousin who probably is a missionary. They've been in India and Malaysia. Indo to Malaysia de senkyoshi yatte itokomoimasu. We are, I have, a, I have a nephew and his wife who are missionaries in Indonesia. Indonesia no senkyoshi de aru oiko fufu mo imasu. So we're all over the globe. This kara watashi no kazuku wa sekai jun ni chirabatteru wake nan desu ga. We have this uh, family line, this app called Dugan Global Family. This kara WhatsApp wo tsukatte rendaku o tagai no joho kouka no tame ni wa Dugan Global Family to WhatsApp ga aru wake nan desu ne. And I opened it up today and it said it was my father's birthday yesterday. So today, kino, uh, mo, kyo, uh, akitara, kino wa chichiwa no tanjobi datta tiyu, mo, boku wa asereti tan desu. If he were alive, he would have been 95 years old. Moshi ikite ireba, he would have, uh, 95 ka 96 sai ni naru wake nan desu ne. So my father left me this very valuable ring. My parents were married for 66 years. Chichi haha wa 66 nen, kekkon seikatsu deshita ga, I think it's 18 karat gold, 18 karat gold. Sometimes when I, we were tight on money, I think maybe I could sell it. No. When I, when I received it uh, in Eight years ago, I was much heavier than I am now. I couldn't put it on my ring finger. So I put it on my pinky, my little finger. But because I'm telling this story, I put it on my little finger. But sometimes it falls off, right? When I got it in America, I put it on my little finger, got on an airplane in Delta and flew back to Japan. I went into the, 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 the bathroom in the, you know, the bathroom in a plane, airplane. And, I, and I, I finished, I stood up, and it was gone. And I looked, and it was sitting on the side of the benki. What I, why am I telling you this? I received something from my father more valuable than a ring. I received the greatest inheritance, which is the inheritance of faith. Uh, my wife, as is often the case, she stole some of my stories. My, our first granddaughter got, got saved and baptized a year ago. She is the fifth generation Christian in our family. I believe that my whole family, meaning all my grandchildren, will get saved. My father was the first one I told, I talked about it in the earlier message. My father was the first one to get saved in our family, the first one. I have 50 cousins, 50 cousins. これはちょっとまあ沖縄にもあるかもしれない。私には伊藤子は50人いるんですよ。50人。My there's 25 on my mom's side and 25 on my dad's side. Uh, more than half of my cousins, about half of my cousins 
on my mom's side are Christians. 母方の、えー、まあこのいとこたちの約半分がキリストを信じています。Almost all my cousins, 25 on my father's side are Christians. 私の知る限り父方のいとこの25人は全員、多分、一人漏れてるかもしれない。多分全員は救われてると思います。So in,、uh, in the world of network business, you call this ネズミ子。<笑>これネットワークビジネスならばネズミコって言うんですね。It's like a pyramid. My father got saved and he, he, he led his parents to Christ and then his siblings and then the siblings' children and then their children. えまあ父が初夫として救われ逆順番でその父母をイエス様に導きそれから自分の7人兄弟の彼は長男なんですがあとの6人が救われ。All of his、uh, siblings got saved, but they didn't all get saved right away. みんなすぐに救われたわけではありません。Two of his siblings made quite a roundabout trip to faith. そのうちの二人は随分泊まりして、えー、信仰にたどり着きました。One was very successful as a businessman, and then had, in midlife had a crisis and came back to Christ. And one, my aunt, She had a very rough marriage and got divorced, and then she came to Christ. 私の父の,あのすぐ下の弟は、ずいぶんと泊まりをして、ビジネスで成功し、挫折して、信仰を持った。そして一方、その妹である、えー、私の祖母、あおばさんが、えー、25年にして、えー、大変な結婚で離婚して、また、えー、ある種の人と結婚して、そして大変挫折して、信仰を持った。そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そ But I have, a, I, have a, I have a custom that I always say. There's one thing that I always say. I s a y the story is The story is not finished yet. In our minds, we want it now. We want things to happen the way that we think they should happen. But God's plan is not always that way. しかし神様の計画はより偉大なものであり。God is dealing with things in, the, in, in eternity. He's dealing with eternity, right? 神様の計算、神様の計画の中は永遠なんです。And we're just here for a very short time. 私たちは地上におけるたびはとても短いんですよ。God is talking about eternity. He wants to save people for eternity. 彼は永遠に人を救いたい。ですので、ギリギリで救われる人もいれば、私みたいに若い時から、イエス様を信じる人もいる。But from God's standpoint, whether it's early or whether it's late, that's not a problem. しかし、神の見地から見ると、それが早いのか、遅いのかは大きな問題ではありません。ですから、Don't give up。皆さん、Don't give up。決して諦めてはならないですね。So, I got this valuable gift from my father, the ring and faith.、ね、the first thing that when we're talking about passing our faith on to the next generation, the first and most important thing is that we know the value of it. We know the value of it. 皆さん私たちは信仰を次世代に渡したいと思うのならば、まず信仰の価値をしっかり信じなければならない。信じなければならない。Sometimes we don't know the value of it. 時々私たちは慣れすぎてその価値を見失ってしまうこともあるんです。It's very interesting that Jesus made a point of saying when he went into the Pharisee Simon's house, you remember the story? イエス様はパリサイ人シモンの家に招かれた時の話はきっと覚えていらっしゃると思います。He went in there and a woman who was known to be a sinful woman came in and was washing his feet. 
、えー、罪の多いおのの人はイエス様の足元に来て、涙でイエス様の足を洗いっていたわけなんです。And the, par- the Pharisee, Simon, was, was criticizing Christ in his heart. He was saying, This guy, if he was a prophet, he'd know this woman that's touching him is a, is a woman of ill repute. She's a sinner. このパリサイ人の死も心の中ではですね、批判して、イエス様は預言者ならば自分に触れている女はどれほど罪人なのか知っているはずなんです。Jesus knew what he was thinking. He read his heart and he said to Simon, He said, Simon, he who is forgiven much or he who is forgiven little, who loves more? シモンにイエス様は投げかけたんです。多く許される人と、わずかしく許されない人と、どっちの方が愛するのか。Well, that's a very easy question, isn't it? The one who is forgiven more. シムも正しく答えました。それは多く許されている人でしょうと。And then Jesus said, Think about it, Simon. イエス様はシモン、ちょっと考えてみなさい。When I came in here, you didn't offer me any water to wash my feet. And he, And this woman has come in, and she's using her hair and her tears to wash my feet. He says, She has forgiven much, been forgiven much, so she loves much. So, she has forgiven much, so she loves much. So, she has forgiven much, so she loves much. So, she has forgiven much, so she loves much. So, she has forgiven much, so she loves much. I think the key to my father's intense desire to see his family get saved is the fact that he knew his sin. My father, at a very young age,、um, slept with women. He lived a very impure life. He was in the Navy during the war, and he Committed many sins. 父はイエス様に出会うまで多くの罪を犯しました。彼は早くから純血を失い、女とね、そして海軍として彼は海軍らしく遊んでいたわけなんです。So he knew his sin, and because he knew his sin, he also knew God's forgiveness, and because he knew God's forgiveness, he knew the value of salvation. 彼は自分の罪が分かったからこそ、神の許しのありがたさも分かり、だから救いはどれほど素晴らしいものであるか分かったんです。Perhaps the most famous, one of the most famous salvation stories is John Newton. 皆さんはあの、えー、ジョン・ニュートンさんの、えー、驚くばかりの恵みという作曲者の話、ご存知だと思います。In his later life, he became a pastor. 彼は晩年には牧師になりました。And one day, as he was cleaning the church, he said this. I know two things. I know two things. First, I am a great sinner. And I know that God, Jesus, is a great Savior. そして、イエス・キリストは偉大な救い主であることを知っています。Friends, if you know your sin, then you know grace. For where sin doth abound, grace doth abound more. 罪が増すところには恵みが増すと書いているように、罪が分かれば恵みが分かる。So the first thing we have to think about when we're talking about passing on our faith is we have to know the value of the faith. まず私たちはこの信仰がどれほど貴重なものであるかを知らなければならない。When people have children, they often have a lot of desires, visions for their children. 人が子供を与えられるとその子供に対するいろんな夢を描きますね、親は。I want my child to do well at school. I want my child to do, have a good job. I want my child to be a good athlete. 私は子供は学校に成功してほしい。いい仕事を見つけてほしい、えー。もしかしたら素晴らしい、たけた、えー、スポーツマンになってほしいと思うのかもしれない。People have all kinds of visions for their children. Friends, none of those are very important. I don't, I don't want to say they're not important, but they're not the number one important thing. もちろんその中にいくらか有益なものはあるんですけれども、一番になってはいけないんです。The most important thing is that your children find Christ. 
Nothing is more important than that. In 2 Timothy 1, verse 5, it says, 第二テモテの一章五節には、Uh, I'll read it in English and then Japanese. まず英語では。I am reminded, これはパウルがテモテに語っていること。I am reminded of your sincere faith which first lived in your grandmother Lois and in your mother Eunice and I am persuaded now lives in you also. これはあのパウルがテモテに当てた励ましの言葉ですね。どうもテモテはちょっと気の弱い人だったようですね。第二手元に一章一,あのあ一章五節。私はあなたのうちにある偽りのない信仰を思い起こしています。その信仰は最初あなたの祖母ロイスと母親ユニケのうちに宿ったもので、それがあなたにも宿っていると私は確信しています。It's very interesting. We know that Timothy's father was a Gentile. 私はテモティの父親は違法人であることがわかりますね。And it's very interesting that his father doesn't appear in this verse. この聖句には彼の父親が載ってないんですよね。But his grandmother and his mother's name comes in this verse. しかし、パウルはここで彼の祖母、彼のお母さんのことを言っています。So we can garner from that that in some cases a Christian home doesn't necessarily involve everybody being a Christian. Right? It would be nice if everybody was a Christian, but in some cases that's not the case. もちろん理想を言えば父も母もクリスチャンであることは一番ベストですけれどもそうじゃない時もある。そうじゃない時もある。In this verse, we see that his grandmother was one of the early believers and his mother, and now Timothy. Early on, the church is still young, and already there's a third generation Christian. 教会が始まって間もない時なのに、すでに三代目のクリスチャンが誕生しているということなんです。It's interesting too that he says, the faith in them is now the faith in you. もちろん私たちは信仰というのは一人一人のものであると分かっているんですが、パウロがおばあちゃんの信仰、お母さんの信仰、そのままあなたに宿っているというんです。I, I don't understand, I don't want to make it complicated because we don't want to get off on a doctrinal, you know,、uh, Tributary here, something that we're not, but it does seem like there is faith that, that flows in the family. もちろん、神学的には一人一人の信仰なんですけれども、この家族の中に流れている信仰の DNA のようなものがあったようです。So let's believe that in our families, the same faith that Timothy's grandmother and mother expressed and was in him is also flows through us. So that for you, if you're a first generation, that there will be a second generation and a third generation and a fourth generation. 皆さん、もし今日あなたは信仰の発砲であるのならば、自分は大事な価値あるものをもらったと信じ、まず人生の第一目標として、次世代に渡す。次世代に渡すと。そう心,心がけていただきたいと思います。えー、so,、uh, we have been talking about We have three children. Our, our son is turning 39、um, this J- July.、Uh, our daughter, who has been battling with a very rare illness,、uh, will be 36 in September. And our youngest, our baby, will be 34 in、uh, December. And my son is 39 years old. I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go to the hospital. にね、そしてあのうちの家族のベイビー、末っ子娘は34年になります。In 1983, can we, I think we have a PowerPoint for this too. There you go. There you go. That's the verse. 先ほどの聖句ですね。In 1983,、uh, I believe it was October, we had only been married for about two months. And、uh, my wife said, I was working in downtown Minneapolis at the time. And my wife said to me, I think I'm pregnant.、えーまあ、1983 and then we had a little bit of 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 a 
カネは妊娠してるかもと言ったんです。Uh, do you remember when you had your first child? 皆さんどうですか最初の子供を授かった時覚えてますか ?It's special, right? It's special. They're all special, but the first one is extra special. もちろんあの子供はみんなスペシャルなんですが、やっぱり最初の子供は特別ですね。So, I was working in downtown. I'd get up at like 6 a.m. In Minneapolis, it's still dark because it's very far in the north. 私毎朝6時に起きてね、まだ暗いんですね。And I would shower and I'd eat toast and then I'd head off for work. And that day after my wife said, I think I'm pregnant, いつもね、毎朝6時に起きて、朝食して仕事に行くんですが、その妊娠してるかもと言われてその翌日。I still remember I finished showering and I sat down in the bathroom and this heavy weight of responsibility came down on me. 私はもうシャワー浴びてちょっと座って休憩中に急にあの何とも言えない責任の重圧を感じたんです。I wasn't worried so much about The child's health or safety. 私は最初はね、その健康だったり、えー、安全だったり、あまり心配しなかったんですが、The thing I was worried about is the child's eternal soul. これから生まれてくる子供がの魂は本当にイエス様を受け入れるかどうか心配したんですね。Of course, we cannot make 100% Sure that our kids are going to get saved. That's, that's God's job. That's not our job. もちろん私 100% の確率で子供を救いに導くということはまあ人間の力ではできないんです。神様の力ですが。But there are some things that we can do. しかし私はできることはある。And I think it's important that we do the right things so that the child has the opportunity to accept Christ. そして今日はそのまあ、次行きましょうか。はい。三つ子の友達。これはね、This is my, these, these are all older pictures. This is our son's youngest, third child. かわいいでしょね,ねこういう。こういうチャンスが与えられると子供、あ,あの、俗に言うジジバカです、私は。ね、ジ,ジジバカです。ね。So the first thing we have to keep in mind is that,、um, Children, we say, are a gift from God. We know that they're a gift from God,、uh, but they're a temporary gift. It's a temporary gift. They're not, we don't own them. We don't possess them, right? We are given the care of them. 私たちはあの子供は自分の所有物じゃないんです。また子供の思う、自分の思うなりに子供を動かすことができないんです。一時預かりなんです。一時預かり。And when I think about this, I think about the story of Moses. You know the story of Moses in the Old Testament. Okay? Moses was a special child born in a very difficult situation. モーセは大変な時代に生まれ、しかし神に選ばれて特別な子供でしたよね。And the mother, in order to save Moses' life, she was faced with an extremely difficult decision. この母親はモーセの命を救うために苦渋の選択に迫られたんですね。We all know the story, what she did. 私みんな聖書にこの話してますよね。She let go of her son. 彼女はこの大事な息子を手放したんですね。She put him in this little reed basket. She put the basket where she knew that Pharaoh's daughter would came all the time. She was thinking, there was some planning involved. 彼女はこの、えー、こうバスケットの中に子供を入れて、えー、そしてパロの娘がいつも水浴するところにその流したんですね。The Bible tells us that when he was weaned, when he was weaned,、えー、聖書ではあの血,離れ血離れを離れをした時、We don't know the exact age. もちろん私はあの何歳だったかは知らないけれども、It was no younger than three years old, perhaps as old as seven. Sometimes, sometime between three and seven years old. We don't know exact age.、Uh, ちょうどどういう年だったかはわからないんですけれども、若ければ3歳。年を経ても7歳というところ。
So here's a mother who has this little child. Now, this child is about that age. She's about three here, two or three. Imagine letting go of your three-year-old. The other day, now she's uh, five. Is she five, honey? She's five, right? She's five. The other day, she's five, and she went to uh, the Hoiku show. And her mother, my daughter in law, took a photo. It's like this. <laughs> she's crying. Just going to kindergarten, she's crying. Now imagine Moses' mother. Moses' mother. Her heart must have been torn apart. So the first thing we have to realize is that God gives us our children for a time. For a time. Now Hebrews tells us something interesting. Hebrews tells us something interesting. In Hebrews chapter 11, look at this. Hebrews chapter 11, verses 24 and 25. Hebrews show no ji show. 24, 25 sets o choto mite mi masho ne. Mazu ano ego de yomimas. By faith, Moses, when he had grown up, refused to be known as the son of Pharaoh's daughter. He chose to be mistreated along with the people of God rather to enjoy the fleeting pleasures of sin. This is amazing when you think about the fact that he was just with his mother for a few years. So we must assume that his mother did a very good job of training up her child for a short time at a very young age. This kara kono hahawaya wa honto ni sugureta eisai kyoiku shita koto o watashi wa shiru koto ga dekimasu. She only had him for a few years. Wazuka sunen shika azukatte nai no ni. And yet, she taught him in such a way that even though he was raised among pagans with idolatry, when he became an adult, he chose God rather than Pharaoh's house. Uh, we published a book last year um, in English it's called A Change of Affection. The Japanese name is Dieru Coming Outo. Uh, I think some of you have read the book. It's available in English and Japanese. Uh, I watch his uh, podcast. He has a weekly podcast. And one of the podcasts recently was about uh, his mother's faith. So no podcast no hitotsuniwa ano okasan ga nakunatta ato ni dete kita okasan no nokoshita tegami ga atta And in this letter that his mother had written, now you have to realize he Beckett had chosen to live as a homosexual. He went to Hollywood and became famous. He had lots of money and fame. 
But one day, God got a hold of his heart. Behind the story behind that is his mother's prayer. So in this podcast, he reads this letter from his mother. His mother is writing what she prayed to God. She cried out to God and she prayed for his son. He was in that lifestyle for 20 years and then God got a hold of him. That was because of his mother's prayer that his life was changed. I've shared with you how my um, sister died in a tornado when she was 19 years old. Uh, I told the kids on Friday the story in detail about how uh, we were, our family was attacked by a tornado was, uh, and seven people died including my 19-year-old sister. My sister was mentally retarded, mentally, now they say mentally challenged perhaps. So for me, um, my sister was always kind of odd and I find her as an embarrassment. So when my sister died, I wasn't very sad. That became, that, that sunk into my heart and became the catalyst for me to understand my sinfulness. So, but to my dad, it was his firstborn. He loved my sister. I told the story about how when I came back to where the tornado had been, I walked down the slope and there in the river, in the lake, my sister's body was floating. My dad was um, giving her mouth-to-mouth resuscitation. I think he kept it up for over an hour. It was, it was too late. She was obviously gone. My aunt was standing. She says, Toby, my dad's Adana's Toby. Toby, it's, 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 it's too late. It's funny because quite a while after that, several years later, my father, one day he was sitting there and he said, if I had just tried a little bit harder, maybe I could have brought her back. Of course, that's not true. He knew that wasn't true. He knew that wasn't true. We only have our children for a short time. So we have to understand they belong to God and for us, we're, it's a short-term trust. So make use of your time with them. I'd like to talk about four Ps. Can we move on? I think this next slide, is there another slide? There you go. Four Ps. Four Ps. Provide, protect, punish, praise. Provide, 
protect, punish, and praise. まずあの親の第一の、えー、責任が養うこと。養うこと。It seems very unspiritual, but it's very important. あまり霊的に思えないのかもしれないんですが、とても大事なんですね。Uh, when our children were little and I would see my wife、uh, breastfeeding them, I always felt kind of jealous. Because there's a special bond between a mother and the baby. It's like a bond that the father can't get into. It's like, well, it's just the mother and the children. えー、そのまあ母親と子供の特別な関係がそこにある。ヒロミは very long hair。当時あの、長男生まれた時に彼女はすごい長髪だったんですね。And our son was always holding, he hold under his hair like this when he was、uh, drinking milk. ボンヨの飲みながらですね、いつもヒロミの髪を掴んでいたんですよ。Even after that, even after he quit、uh, breastfeeding, he, he would be an excess in the photon and he'd hang on to the hair there. My h a w a i wa ne, kakase nai, so you say shin te kene yashinai o suru n des. Mothers provide an invaluable emotional provision for the children. But they also need physical provision. And I always say for a father who is. Out working very hard to provide your children, don't forget how valuable that is. Providing for your family is very, very, very important. In fact, if you read in Timothy about the, the, the qualifications for being a leader in the church, that's one of them. You read Timothy, it says that a, a, a good, trustworthy person is the husband of one wife. Timothy is one of the husband of one And is not given to financial irresponsibility. And takes care of his family and is respected and is thought well of by people outside of the church. 家族を養い、そして外部の人にも評判の良い人と書いてるんです。When I look at that,、uh, those, those conditions for eldership in Timothy, what always strikes me is what's not in the list. 私はあのテモテのね、その長老になるための条件というのを読んでいくといつも、えー、気になるところはそのリストに載ってないこと。It doesn't tell us how long they pray. It doesn't tell us whether or not they fast. It doesn't say how much biblical knowledge they have. たくさん祈るかどうかとか、何時間祈るのかとか、断食するかとか、あるいは聖書知識がたくさんあるかないか。It's not in the list. そのリストの中にないんですよ。だから神様はまず人間として、父親として、家族の主として、社会人として、評判の良い人っていうことを大事にしているんです。So, provide, protect, protect.、Uh, I think every parent has horror stories of what could have happened to your children. Do you not have those horror stories? Those scary moments? It could have been so different moments? Mira san, do desu ka? Koso date ni oite wa, ちょっとキャッとする怖くなるそういう場面ないんですか We had several. Our youngest, when she was five years old, got lost at Disneyland in America. Gosai no, so ekko no musume ga, made ego de kinai to kini. America no Disneyland de mai go ninat, ichi jikan wa tachi yuka ego wa kana kata n d s That same child, when she was two years old, she climbed into our bath full of water. So no naji ko ga nisai chotto no to kini, hitori de yubune mizu ippai hat t e r u Our other musume, our other daughter, has this habit of scaring us time and time again. When she was young, her, her、uh, arm was broken, they thought she had bone cancer.
Now she's got this thing going on with her breast. She tried to climb over the balcony on the fifth floor of our apartment. Children scare their parents because our job is to protect them. We have to guard their hearts too. We protect them physically. We protect them emotionally. The third P is punish. Punish. Punish wa ne, ano kotoba toshite, chotto kitsui yoni kanjiru. It sounds these days punish is, is, is almost like a bad word, but it's really not a bad word because it's teaching a child what is right and what is wrong. Kono shitsukeru tiu koto wa gendai jin ni totte wa ne. We have to put the, in the child's heart the correct moral gauge so that they know what is right and they know what is wrong. There are four, there are four parent, parenting styles. The first style is um, very strict and no affection. The second style is very affectionate and no strictness. The third, the third style is no strictness, no affection. And the fourth is plenty strict when you need to be and lots of affection. So the I think you can guess which works best. The strictness when you need it and plenty of affection. Which do you think is worse? Mukanshin. Mukanshin ichiban wari. No affection, no strictness. Children feel like it doesn't matter that they exist. So we need to punish, but we also need to praise. We need to praise. My wife tells me that I did not praise my son enough. So my son lacks confidence. So praising your children is very, very important. These are the four P's. So, Shinko ni Michibiku, can you go to the next slide? Hi, Shinko ni Michibiku. Kore ga tabun saigo ka na to omaimasu ne. The first thing, if you want to lead your children to the Lord, the first thing you have to realize is that your children are not Christians. They don't automatically become Christians. My father had a habit of saying, he said, uh, if you put a cow in a garage, it will not turn into a Cadillac. Uh, it's the same way with um, children. Just because children come to church, just because they come to Sunday school, does not make them a Christian. とても
信仰を持つわけでは残念ながらないんです。So we have to、um, realize that our children need to get saved. I think a very important thing is to not get too caught up in ceremony and form. If you're a Christian parent, you want your child to express their faith and get baptized. もちろんあの信仰ある親ならば子供たちに信仰を持ってほしい願いが強いんです。But sometimes, because of that, the child wanting to please the parent goes ahead and says, I believe and get baptized only to please their parent. 時々親のありありと感じる子供に洗礼を受けてほしいという強い願いが子供は感じ取って親を喜ばすために洗礼を受けることがあります。I call this being a wet unbeliever. 私はこれは濡れた未信者と呼びます。本人は信仰をはっきりしていないのに周りの人たちの圧力、期待感、に応じるように、深刻を隠するならば、残念ながらこれは本当の救いにならないんですよね。So we have to suppress our desire for our child to get saved quickly and try to make it happen with our own suggestions. ですから私たち親として、その早く信仰を持ってほしい、早く戦略を受けてほしいという願望をちょっとブレーキをかけないといけないんです。Because we don't want it to just be a ceremony. We want it to be the real thing. And the only way it becomes the real thing is for the child to meet Christ themselves. They have to meet Christ themselves. 子供一人一人は直接に神様に出会わなければならないんです。出会わなければならないんです。It was the spring of 1996. That day, it was, that was a Sunday after the Sunday service. Sakanobote, 1996年のある日曜日の午後 We had plans to go visit one of the seekers who had been coming to church. 私たちは教会に来てる求道者のところを訪問する予定でした Suddenly, one of our daughters started crying and ran to me. 突然、娘の一人が泣きながら私のところに来ました She said, Michael is picking on us again. お兄ちゃんは私たちいじめてるんだと歌いました。Uh, this particular scenario happened many, 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 many times. このようなシネリオは我,我が家ではあの当時よくあったことです。遊んでる。They're playing. One of them starts crying. The crying one comes to us. And they blame their older brother for picking on them. This, this was over and over again. We often scolded and spanked Michael. So, After my daughter came to us, we called Michael and we did、uh, the interrogation. Michael, ほんまにやったかやりましたやっていけないとわかってるのに。まあまあまあまあ。Did you really do it? Yes, he did. Why? I've told you so many times. Right? そしてね、あの、He said, I can't stop. I can't stop. I can't stop. もう、もうやめられないと彼が言うんですね。So, because I'm a pastor, I said, Well, if you accept Jesus into your heart,、ね、もし、イエス様を信じて受け入れるなら、親はね、そう言うんです。So, what did my son say? What do you think he said? I've done that many, many times. <laughs> 何度も何度も私は祈って、イエス様を信じるに祈った。As he was crying, n a k i n a g a r a And one thing that I'll never forget is he sat there and he started going like this I can't change. Matashiwa, inotemo inotemo kawaranai, tita. 
Okay, what do you do in a case like that? I remember sitting there thinking, you just can't say the, the patent thing. You have, this is not the time to just say something that he already knows. So I, I paused for a moment, prayed, you know, in my heart, God, give me the right words. And I said to him, yes, you can't change. You can't change. You can't. It's impossible. Don't pray expecting to change. Pray and say, I can't change. So he started praying. God, I can't be different. I can't change. I can't be nice. I've tried and I've tried and I've tried and I can't. So he started praying. And then he started crying and crying and crying. It was one of those special moments. We've sensed the presence of the Holy Spirit. When he got done praying, his face was different. And he changed. He changed. And the amazing thing is, he, after a few months, he said, You know what, Dad? I want to get baptized. And then his younger sister, and then his younger sister, they saw what had happened in his life, and they also accepted Christ. So they need to have that meeting with Christ. I think there's one more. はい、これ最後ですね。So first, you have to teach your children from a very young age. We read Bible stories for them. It can be in your everyday talk and uh, you just teach your children what's right and wrong teaching. Secondly, praying. You should always pray. I, I pray. I pray probably 30% of my prayer time is praying for my children. You know, I mean, there's a lot of bigger things. I realize that. But I'm their only father. I'm their only father. So I have to pray for them. You have to pray for your children. And thirdly, you have to show. You have to show them. My mother lost her eyesight when she was 38 years old. She, has a, she had about maybe 30% of her eyesight. Maybe 30%. She couldn't drive cars. She couldn't, she didn't have any field of depth. So when she walked up and down stairs, she, she couldn't, she had to always hold my mom's arm. Um, she needed a Bible with big verse, uh, big big words. 
いつもあのとてもでっかい文字のある聖書ないと読めなかった。In later years, she used a magnifying glass, great big magnifying glass to read the Bible. Eh, ban nen niwa kanojo o kina mushi megane o tsukate seishu yomi o shita. She'd put the Bible on her, on her lap and she'd have this big magnifying glass and she'd go like this reading the Bible. Haha wa ban nen ni kono o kina seishu hizo no ai ni hiroge mushi megane o tsukate yukkuri, yukkuri to yon de ita n desu ne. I remember that. それが心に刻まれている母の姿。My mom didn't have to tell me that reading the Bible was important. 私に聖書読むのは大事だよって言う必要なかった。I saw her.I saw her. 彼女の姿を見たから。Your children are watching you.They're watching you. 子供たち見てるよ。Doesn't really matter what you say. If your life isn't in sync with what you're saying, もしあなたの生き方と言うことが矛盾しているのならば、子供信じないよ。They need to see it in you. See it in the way that you act with your spouse. See it in the way that you treat them. See it in the way that you talk to God. 反両との態度においては、日常生活の価値観においては、神様とどのように関わることによって、子供は見てるんですよ。They see it.They see it.I don't think that、uh, child raising is a science.I think it's an art.I don't think it's a science, it's an art. 子育ては科学のようなものではなく、美術学校のようなものだと思います。It takes sensitivity, it takes hearing the voice of God, it takes imagination.There's no manual.If you just take these steps, one, two, three, it's gonna work. 子育てやクリスチャンホームのマニュアルみたいなものはないですよ。心をいつも神様に向けて、心開き、教えられながら。だから、科学よりも芸術なんだよ。芸術なんだ。僕はそういうものだと思います。随分と思って以上にごめんなさい。長くしゃべりましたが、これで終わらせてもらいます。はい、それでは一言に祈ります。愛する天皇父様、今日この良き日、皆さんと礼拝できたことを心から感謝いたします。本当に、えー、我々は知恵が足りなくて弱い人間ですが、そのような土の器っていうものの中に、あなたの栄光あるその宝を託してくださった方であることを覚えて感謝します。Lord, please give us each, each individual the necessary wisdom for where they are at right now in their family, with their children, with their spouse. この瞬間において一人一人置かれたその状況に対する。Give them wisdom, patience, trust, trust in you. 主要一人一人に知恵を、また忍耐、それからあなたに信頼できる心を与えてくださいますようにお願いします。We know that this prayer is your will. この祈りはあなたの御心であることを確信しています。So we know that you hear it and we know that you will answer it and we thank you ahead of time. ですからあなたは必ず聞き、そして叶えてくださることを前もって感謝いたします。主イエス様の名前によって祈ります。アーメン